Future IFB B Pro, right here. Jack Bra, oh, the king. He's the new king. He's awaiting his throne. Well, I told myself, like, I want to get ready for a show. I want to see what, like, where I can take my body. Why not? Pretty much, dude. Like, why not? That's the question for life. Why not? My main goal in life, since I was about six years old, was to help people emotionally, physically, in any form that I can. At first, I thought I wanted to be a firefighter. Until I was about 12, that stopped. Then, I wanted to be a basketball player. So I tried out in high school, but reality hit real fast in that one. I was just too fat, too short. Then in high school, I finally decided to pursue something that had to do with school get a degree maybe in psychology or sociology. I wanted to help. Help how? I don't know. Changing minds, lives. It was all fascinating for me. All my life I feel like I've been living it very blindly from my childhood to my teen years. Up until now, 23, I look back at myself, my behavior, and everything I've done that maybe in the moment I regretted. It all came to sudden realization that this happiness was only a phase and to actually experience what it feels like to be free. Little did I know, it was only a sample of what was to come later in life. Little did I know, it was going to hit me with everything I possibly could. 2020 hit. The virus that shall not be named came, slapped the world in the face. One year later, the person who I loved the most and who I thought would live forever by my side passes away, my mother. The woman who put on the title as mother and father for her children. She was always there, no matter how tired, how sick, how emotional she was, she was there. She worked every day of her life until the end. Yeah, I was in shock. A sudden realization hit me though. It was right after the doctor said these words. Her lungs have collapsed, there's nothing we can do. Boom. My heart drops. Tears fall, but then it suddenly stops. For some odd reason, I knew what had to happen after this moment of grief. It was sort of like an epiphany. I like to see it as God's calling. Move forward. It was a vision so clear to me that it would be a shame for me to ignore. It was time to take this role that my mom left behind and use it out in this world for myself and for others. It was time to put my fucking big boy pants on and grind on something that I desired so much in this world. Bodybuilding. Future IFB B Pro, right here. Jack Bra off. It was a passion for me. Every day since October of 2018, I was getting after it. Day after day, week by week, seeing results, seeing progress, wanting more and more. More knowledge about the sport, just simply more. So I decided to compete in the natural bodybuilding industry. No drugs solely for the purpose that I want to show these younger generations that steroids is not necessary for fitness or a great body at all. I competed in my first natural bodybuilding show in July of 2022. All I have to say is thank God for that experience. As many of you know, I won that show and received my qualification as a professional natural competitor. Words cannot explain how I felt after achieving something so unimaginable. Now, I have a vision so clear that it's so overwhelming to me, but I know it's possible. 
I want to inspire people. I want to let people know that they are capable of achieving whatever they put into their heart, whatever their passion is. I want people to know that there is hope in their abilities. I want to help people understand that with these abilities come obstacles. I also want to help people understand that there is a God, a God that loves us. And because he loves us, we are capable of achieving the greatest desires we can imagine. So here we are, 2023. My life's been a maze, but whose hasn't? It's all part of the process. All I want to do now is begin the new year, new goals, new opportunities. Represent my small hometown of Lost Hills, California. On stage, off stage, off YouTube, on YouTube. My plan is to motivate, inspire. If I did this, I know you guys can too. That's my message to you all. God is great. God is love. Most importantly, God bless you all. And I will be back with more content. Believe that. Aloza, out. Believe that.